Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome to the Pop of Color Late Night Show, a music industry themed late night show for colorful bands and artists. I'm your host, Clara. I'm so glad for you to be joining me tonight. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. We air er, live Monday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on my Facebook page. If not, we have the archives on YouTube and on my blog. I'm starting a new thing this week where all the references and the sources for the news items I cover will be in the archives on the blog so that they don't clutter up the description of this video when it goes out on Facebook. So let's get started with the news. I'm so glad to be back because I it was off last week due to an insane flu. It was, oh my goodness. Okay, so so it lasted two weeks. So, you know, Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, I'm sick. I'm sick for two weeks. I get better and there's snow. For those of you wondering, this is why we have Thanksgiving in October here in Canada. Because if we wait till November, like our American counterparts, our harvest will be covered in a block of ice. Anyways, let's get to the news. Fender, the guitar company, commissioned a study that, find, that found out that half of new guitar players are female. Yeah, you go girls. 72% of respondents to the survey and the study said they picked up the guitar to gain a life skill and a means of self-betterment. 42% said they viewed the guitar as part of their identity. And so, music stores that um, have a reputation for not being very nice to young women when they come in, <coughs> please take note. For example, this is a story, this is such a classic story, but this happened to me a couple years ago. Um, I was dating a musician and he asked for heavy gauge guitar strings for Christmas. So I walk into the downtown guitar store um, and I go up to the counter where he's like guarding his strings, like, like a dragon guarding the horde. And I'm like, hi, I'd like some heavy gauge acoustic guitar strings, please. And this, the clerk looks me up and down. He's like, are you sure, miss? I'm like, yes, I am. So we went back and forth, back and forth. And finally I was like, they're not for me. And then he gave them to me. So listen, if you don't want to scare off, 50% of your customer base. Change some of these attitudes at the very basic level because if you want to encourage young women to go in to get into this instrument, and yes, they, they're going to start, if they, like many people, they're going to start with the basic instrument, but as they move up, they will invest in the nicer equipment, the fancy amps, the fine wood guitars, and become loyal customers and if you and you don't want to alienate them so that is my two cents and six heavy gauge guitar strings so six cents I guess on, on the, the Fender study speaking of small businesses Nielsen Music who does the counting for music sales um, has found that the industry loses 2.65 billion dollars every year from small businesses that don't properly pay their licenses for playing music in the stores. By the way, everyone, this is Maggie. She is my newest foster. For those of you who didn't see on Facebook and Instagram. And so basically she was abandoned and I'm taking care of her for a short amount of time until we find someone who's ready to adopt her. She was marked as shy. She's not. She's a total diva. She's here because I'm paying attention to you and not to her. Anyway, say hi, Mikey, say hi to the camera. Aren't you a natural? Um, so, but hey, if any of you are in the Ottawa Valley, National Capital Region, and want to meet Maggie and potentially adopt her, give me a show. Anyways, back to small businesses who play music, because it's a different, because it's a, they need a specific license. If you are a commercial establishment and you're going to use the music to enhance a customer's experience and potentially get them to spend more, you need to pay for that. So, for example, here in Canada, um, small businesses, whether they be coffee shops, 
um, gyms, the dentist's office, they all got, they've all got to pay a license to SOCAN. In the US, it would be CSAC, BMI, or ASCAP, um, and every country has their equivalent. And different um, commercial establishments do this in different ways. For example, I worked retail when I was in college for audio engineering, and we, there were a couple of different ways, is through different stores I worked at that had different ways of the music they played. For example, one of them, I just plugged my iPod in, and another one, the manager just put their CD on. That's n that does not pay the artist a proper. <coughs> Sorry, still not quite over that flu. That does is not the equivalent of a license. This is a commercial establishment that does not fly. We should have. I don't know if they paid the license. The like higher ups paid the license or not, but that's not how. It, just sticking the manager's iPod in is not the correct way to do it. Then there was another store that used um, free Spotify. So we would open up an internet browser on the store computer and we would go on the free Spotify and we'd just look up a playlist of top 40 music and repeat it ad nauseum all day, every day. For example, there would be an ad that comes on every couple songs too, which was very interesting. I don't think we paid a license in that store either, come to think of it. So case in point, this is what happens. But then you have other stores, big box stores, big chains, who have specific playlists made just for them. So Starbucks has their own Spotify playlist. And you bet that they will, will pay the license for that. But it is the playlist that plays in all Starbucks stores. There's the same thing with big box stores like Walmarts and Best Buys and so on. Um, I briefly touched on this in my Christmas music article last year, which yes, I will be bringing out in full force now that the holiday season is almost upon us. Yippee. Let me know if you want me to do a live show, a late show episode on the Christmas season. Oh, Louise is here, so I'm going to be covered in cats. Cat hair, don't care. Or more like... Anywho, uh, two last quick pieces of news. Global streaming music subscriptions are predicted to hit 235 million people this year. And SoundCloud has cleared remixes. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Clara. I run Pop of Color, a music branding and marketing agency based in Canada, but I have fans and clients from all over the world. This is my late night show, which I run. It it airs Monday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Facebook, and um, I do blog posts that, that come out every Friday on my blog, popofcolormusic.com. Excuse me, Miss Maggie. Please have a good week. Be good to each other. You are wonderful. Maggie's going for the laser. I will see you next time with a full um, theme to the episode because I really want to get back into that. Wish me well. I'm still getting better, but definitely on the mend. Love you all. Rock on.